professional have reporting tools which help us see the status of a project that we're working on. So if we go onto Autodesk Vault uh, in, the, in the client, um, we can see that if I select any folder, I can select a report and run a report on that. Now, what happens if I want to run a report on maybe a couple of different you know, projects or assemblies that I'm working on? So not just the one assembly. So maybe it's we're working on four different assemblies for a client. Yeah, you have put it into the vault as four different uh, folders. So one, two, three, four. Instead of clicking on each folder running a report, so then you've got four different reports coming up. We can just maybe, what we do is we can drag and drop certain sub-assemblies um, and make a link in a folder that we've created. So if I go and create a folder, we can create the folder over here and just give it a name. Let's go to report. And in that report over there, I can then go and drag and drop and link or link drag and drop components um, of different assemblies. So I go to my sub assemblies over here and I want to say, for instance, get a report of these four assemblies. So I'm just right click dragging in there and it tells me to create link. So if I go there, you'll see there those four are linked um, to the original, um, the original uh, assembly. So what I can do is select on report, um, select on the report folder, click on report and then choose the report that I want and click on OK. So these are default reports that come with um, with in, 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 in Vault. Um, I can go and, you know, sort of, you know, sort of uh, configure those reports the way that I want to. OK, so that's the report that I'm looking at over there. So I'm going to close. I'm going to go run another report just to get a bit of a different look. So I'm going to run a report in this projects and report. Uh, we'll see there. So in the previous report, there was just uh, files checked in and out. Uh, you can see there, there's a lot more different categories that we've got over here. So um, work in progress, you've got 79 files over there. Um, you know, if I go to my full review, you'll see that I've got five in review and released, I've got 409. Um, sorry, released, I've got three. Uh, that 409 was parts that had not been assigned a category and parts that had not been designed are, are not part of a life cycle as yet. So now that's great to look at it in you know the reports in this way, but how do I visually uh, take a look at those reports um, in my inventor side? So um, if I go to my inventor, you'll see I've got this components or this, this assembly over here. And what I can do is I can run that same report on this assembly and get a visual mapping of exactly what's going on with this. So if I go over here and I say, right, so let's do file by life cycle and uh, run that report. It's the same report that we, we did uh, previously. Previously what we did do though, it was for multiple assemblies and not just this one assembly I'm taking a look at. So when that report is generated, it will then go give me some feedback over here. So what it's telling me that in work in progress are 11.4% are base objects, 4.5% are design representations, 13.6% are engineering files, 12.5% uh, are office files, and then we just got some standard files of 6.8%. Fifth, so more than half of these files have actually not been assigned a category and also haven't been um, put into a life cycle. So, you know, what this could tell you is that the guys haven't started working on this as yet. Um, if you don't like the colors, you can just go over here and you can override your color um, and you can say, right, you know, I want it to be blue. Uh, this one, let's make this. Um, a green color, so nice bright green over there. Okay, so those are the colors that I want. And then what happens is I can go and map it onto my uh, onto my uh, assembly over here. So let's go to uh, map, and there you'll see. So now let's put the colors on my um, on my assembly over here. So you can see that I can go and see exactly. So that that is an engineering components over there. You know, this is an office component. Okay, so I've just changed. It's not really an office component. It's been more an engineering component. And then you'll see all of these components and you can actually, you know, sort of get out of this. These have not been worked on since they've been put into the, the vault. So, you know, you might have been coming from an old system or might not have been using vault at all. So we've taken this or, or even vault basic because vault basic doesn't have this functionality. So we'll take that, we'll put it into the vault uh, work group or professional. And now we can actually very quickly easy, and easily see the status of the assembly um, in the project we're working in. So once again, Vault, Work Group and Professional, uh, really um, helping us to visualize our data and very quickly understand where we are in a project uh, to make things go uh, much quicker. Thank you very much for watching.